book of Judges, chapter 7 and verse 1. Like grasshoppers for multitude. 
multitude. And their camels were without number as the sand by the sea side for multitude. Uh -huh. And when Gideon was come, behold, there was a man that told a dream unto his fellow, and said, Behold, I dreamed a dream, and lo, a cake of barley bread tumbled into the host of Midian, and came into a tent, and smote it, that it fell, and overturned it, that the tent lay long, lay along. <clears throat> and his fellow answered and said, This is nothing else save the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, a man of Israel. For, for into his hand hath God delivered Midian and all the host. And it was so when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof, that he worshipped and returned into the host of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord hath delivered into your hand the host of Midian. As I said, God had delivered the thousands of men to these three hundred men. Amen. That doesn't, that doesn't really make sense. How three hundred men could beat thousands of men. But we'll see... Amen. Let's continue on. Hold on, let me find um, where we're at. And he divided the 300 men into three companies and put a trumpet in every man's hand with empty pitchers and lamps within the pitchers. And he said unto them, Look on me and do likewise, and behold, when I come to the outside of the camp, it shall be that as I do, so shall ye do. When I blow the trumpet, I and all that are with me, then blow ye the trumpets also on every side of the camp, and say the sword of the Lord and Gideon. They're supposed to say, the sword of the Lord and Gideon. Amen. So Gideon and the hundred men who were with him came unto the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle watch, and they had and they had but newly set the watch. Brother Jimmy Swagger and and the expositors <coughs> study Bible said, so it's close to 11 p.m. Amen. And they blew the trumpets and broke the pitchers that were in their hands. And the three companies blew the trumpets and break the pitchers and held the lamps in their left hands and the trumpets in their right hands to blow with without. And they cried, the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. And they stood every man and his place round about the camp, and all the hosts ran and cried and fled. And the three hundred blew the trumpets, and the Lord set every man's sword against his fellow, even throughout all the hosts. And the hosts fled to Beth. I can't... How do you pronounce the next part? We'll just go on. And Zerath, I can't even pronounce it, Zerath or something like that, unto the border of Abel Mahola, unto Tebeth. Amen. The vessel, or as the Bible says, pitcher, was made of clay. It was clay pitcher. pitcher. But who makes clay pitchers? The potter. Amen. In the book of Jeremiah, it talks about the potter. It says in chapter 18 and verse 1, The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was met was marred in the hand of the potter, so he made it again another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. 
Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I, cannot I do with you as the pot, as this potter, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hands, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. Amen. So he's telling Jeremiah to tell Israel that it's in his hands what happens tomorrow. I'm all. They're just the vessel. <clears throat> yeah. Jeremiah is the vessel here. Amen. The lamps that they held. They needed the lamps to light the way. Come on. Or else they couldn't see. Just like we need the word to light our way. Psalms 119 verse 105 it says, none, I don't know what that means there, I'm guessing it's the Israelite alphabet or something. Anyway, the word is a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. God's word is our light. Amen. It guides our path. Yeah. If we don't have that light, we can't see in our path and might trip over <clears throat> a bush or something. Come on, Amen. Prophet or a prophet. 